UniWider is a network of researchers, policymakers across the world that are seeking out answers to some of the most pressing questions of our time. WIDER started its operation in 1985. We were given this excellent acronym WIDER, World Institute for Development Economics Research. I wanted the name which would capture the fact that we wanted a wider outlook. We start with the questions that are most urgent to policymakers. Then we engage in the kinds of research that we think can deliver those answers. WIDER has been an eclectic institution, uh, not with any particular ideological axe to grind. You need to integrate economics, political science, philosophy, sociology, and also the physical sciences, with scientists that know something about climate change. It's promoted a very healthy debate around the world. Much of that has shown some of the more narrow perspectives were just that, too narrow. We do a great deal of research and have done for over 30 years. Human development increasingly, poverty, inequality has also been a strong part of our DNA. Why has sort of been at the forefront of any of these issues? We work a great deal in countries in Africa with policymakers, central bankers, with ministers of finance. Such that they will move in a much more effective way to the benefit of their people. WIDER has a very important role of coordination, bringing people together from many parts of the world and addressing jointly issues of mutual concern. For example, to bring Bangladesh's way of coping with environmental shocks to the countries that are now having to adapt to climate change. One of our strengths has been to bring early career researchers together with senior researchers. Facilitating the scholarship of young economists from developing countries. I am one example. So you get to interact with other researchers at your level by giving seminars and getting feedback, uh, as well as working on projects and working with more senior researchers. I got affiliated in, with UNUI two years after I got my PhD, and it has been incredible. So you get to learn more about your own research, also where the field is going, and questions that you might ask in the future. The conference Mapping the Future of Development Economics is also about trying to identify what may happen over the next 30 years. You'll see at this conference Nobel laureates like Amartya Sen and Joe Stiglitz. Look around the room at the people who are here today, uh, probably half of them are under 40, and that is very encouraging. Well, the next 30 years is really going to see an increase in the importance of development ideas. So I think WIDER is very, very well placed to do that. But it also has a very important role of helping us look further ahead. There are still many unanswered questions. We have to take on the big ones, and WIDER is a good guidance for that purpose. Some of the old questions still remain, how to reduce poverty. Climate change is going to impact considerably. We are concerned about how it will impact the poorest. And how to develop mature and sophisticated economies that don't blow themselves up in the way that we've seen the rich countries do through financial crises. There's still one billion people living on less than one dollar a day. Bringing about the evidence that is required to improve their welfare, their living standards, that's what we are trying to do. WIDER has never sacrificed its rigor. There were some American economists that described it as wilder while pursuing independent approaches which were not at that point orthodox, but which have since become so. Good ideas rest on good research. That simply is our mantra.